when you can lean into wildness and chaos, can you see how much energy you allow to move through you, through your life to redistribute? And then what happens is, is that wildness comes things and things start moving and shifting. We want to control, well, hang on, what happens when that isn't working or that's um, doors closed or that's not looking how I want? And then we come back in and we're trying to like clear up halfway through like a tornado or a hurricane. You've got to let it finish its process. You've got to let it shift and move. You've got to let things be shook up. You've got to embrace the wild and the redistribution because that's when the full force of universal source can do its thing. Can you see that? Think about it in it. We're talking about Diana, we're talking about nature. Think about a tornado or a hurricane just stopping halfway through something. It just wouldn't happen. It's got to fulfill the energy of movement and chaos and redistribution. It's the same with our lives chaos, disorder, um, things changing and shifting and people falling away and issues coming up or things starting to move begins to happen. And we go into the container, orderly conditioned part of us, that, which is like, whoa, 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 hang on, stop here. And imagine what would happen if you just let the energy move through. And then you're left with the pieces and you're left with the space because the amazing thing about the universe is it abhors a vacuum. You create space with chaos, stuff comes in it. Don't fear the chaos. I think this is one of the most potent ways to bring in more magic, more wealth, more clients, more um of everything is to allow the movement, to allow the shifting, to allow the wild, to allow the chaos.